Hey all, today we're looking at this. This is a itty bitty Zigbee uh, repeater. It is just like a little USB dongle and you just plug it into any wall outlet uh, and you have a Zigbee repeater. So I figured uh, let's plug it in and see how well it works. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the device in pairing mode. I think it's already pairing. I didn't have to push any buttons, it's blinking. So on the Zigbee to MQTT side, I'm going to hit permit all to join and see if it shows up. And just like that, it's appeared right here and it's found it. There we go right here. So this is our repeater uh, and it basically just exposes a link quality. Uh, and yeah, that's it. It is a repeater. Let me plug it in somewhere a bit more useful than on my coffee table and put it in its forever home. Okay, so I've plugged the repeater into the back of this smart clock, uh, and let's see if any of my bedroom devices uh, connect to, well, uh, the repeater. All right, let's take a look at Zigbee to MQTT again. And if you're curious, this is the device I have in my bedroom. It is a temperature and moisture sensor for my bedroom plant. And sure enough, the bedroom repeater has shown up as a router inside of Home Assistant. You can see the bedroom plant sensor is connected to the bedroom repeater, which is also connected to the main coordinator. Uh, we also have a living room IR blaster, which also acts as a router, and it's connected to that as too, so we have a bit of a mesh forming now. So the network is becoming uh, more robust. That's pretty cool. Okay, and that about wraps up the video. This is the Zigbee uh, repeater from Tuya. Uh, I'll put a link to this in the description. It is an affiliate link. I get a little commission if you pick one up. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.